all right so this is the aftermarket one and i told you i had to redrill the holes so so this could go further in i redrilled the holes on both sides right here but we have a bracket right here so i'm not gonna be able to get the bolt through so i'm looking to try to find out where the welds are there's one two three four five six welds that i'm gonna try all right so i lined up and that's where the new holes are gonna be this is the bracket on the aftermarket one to be able to push and pull this releases the shovel and it got three angles one that way one middle one this way although i kept it up that far two reasons one because if i pull it back i don't want that to hit the tire but for two i couldn't get that further back i'd have to cut that off and that was too much of a job i already redrilled those so i got the bolts master valve never remember where i put crap back at so i'm about to tighten those on then i gotta move my wife's car so i don't scrape the crap out of it as i'm backing this out i'm just i want to actually grab some more gravel and move it around so i lift it drop it back it up lift it drop it back it up to move some gravel i might leave the plow on for this year and just use the plow this year because i do have the chains and then next year put the blower on because i got some stuff to do around the house let me get this on then i'll show you how it goes all right all four bolts on so i just gotta tighten it up and now this was set to lift it up so i know my rod right there will go over the speed bumps in the alley so i don't know if the shovel will go over the speed bumps but when i give my grandkids a ride on the back i really have to make sure that is so i'm gonna even this out tighten this up and then there's a, that'll be considered a bracket that's a bracket and then the back end right here is a bracket okay so i pulled it all the way up so this right here my trailer hitches all the way up and it slips the plow all the way up and then when i drop it it'll hit the ground anyways it should hit the ground so in the up position i got this is the aftermarket plow remember i got this around this crossbar right here and i put a you know, one of the things for the uh, uh your trailer hitches right here so i'm gonna tighten this up probably one or two more links and then we're gonna check on the up and down now i have the back tires on the bricks and the front tires off so i was able to get under there easier so i'm gonna loosen this up right now and tighten this chain up one and then we'll see where we're sitting at when it's level truth be told even though i got that lifted off the ground it's not really giving me too much more slack to go up another link in here so that's about how low it's gonna sit from the ground this is all the way back when i take those off it is off the ground but i don't think it's enough to get over the speed bumps that is a huge difference i would like to try to get it up at least one more link or a little bit higher off the ground that's definitely how far it could go i put two more boards I'm gonna try to readjust this yeah i got a lot more flat now the best i could get is one more link up so uh it's still gonna be low i'm uneven right now but at least i got that other link up but the attachment for the snowblower is what's stopping it from uh coming up any higher it's cocked at anyways but that's about seven inches and that's about three inches that's off the ground right now but this just is really secured on other than the chain in the mid shaft right here chain in the mid shaft is holding that up it's only attached to the axle i got this covered up because i got this facing up right now when it was raining all right i gotta get that thing turned around and i gotta move my wife's car so i could uh get that out of here and get the everything put it back in the garage run out of juice let me just get it on and get it running right here
All right, so it's off the ground really good. I'm satisfied with the, it being off the ground. Now what I gotta make is, I got handles for them, but it's not for this tractor. This one pulls back this way to unlock it, and then this one moves it. And I gotta get it to the side because it fits in the garage better to the side. All right, so I was, I was trying to save it before my battery died out. On level ground, this is about four inches off the ground to plow. Okay, I have uh, uh, to make something for this. See, this actually, hit, there's teeth on this one. So when you open it up, yeah, this is what I was trying to do before my battery died out. When you open this up, yeah. It moves whatever angle you want all right so this there's actually two pieces one to pull this back and forth from here but it like hangs from here all the way crazy here and the reality of it is in my alley I'm only gonna have it to kind of one side and go down half the alley and come back up the other half of the alley because this is a regular Chicago alley the snowblower I might or might not get on I'm unsure but this is about done so I had to shorten it because it was too far out this is the aftermarket plow that I picked up for like 75 bucks I think it was 75 bucks 35 75 I had to shorten it so I redrilled it to shorten it I used the crossbar for the wheel horse handle right here and a chain and my son mocked up because on the back of the wheel horses this block is here because when you back up this will knock against this so actually i'm gonna go ahead and mock this up so when it leans when i push this up and this leans up it's not gonna hit the transmission at all it's gonna be braced on the axle and that's what the snow plow is braced on the axle right there that's what the snow plow is braced on but when you back up if you have this type of hitch it will hit the transmission so i'm going to cut around this and whittle it out so this is actually resting upon the brackets right there it's fabbed there's a uh, little spigots that come out and it's onto the plow right there it's onto the plow right there all right let me get my horse car out the way and let's get this put away that is a 1973 wheel horse with a hydrostat transmission 10 horsepower frontward and reverse the transmission is right there it's a hydraulic pump is the transmission basically that's a hydraulic pump i put a new rectifier i got a it's all digital right there but i control it i shut it on and off with that on and off switch all right let me get this out the way